Father, I thank you that you are the God who remains the same. Father, you change not. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. Father, I thank you that you said to everything there is a season. And we know that, Father, we always end up with the blessed season. We might be going through winter, but we know we're going to end up with the harvest. And so, Lord, we thank you. We trust you just like Job. He went through so much, Father God, but then you turned his captivity, oh God, when he prayed. Father God, I thank you that we will continue to pray without ceasing because you said it's the effectual fervent prayers of a righteous man that avail it much. And you said pray without ceasing. And so that's what we're going to do, Father God. We're going to continue to cry out to you, Father. You said call on me and I will answer you and I will show you great and mighty things that you don't know. And so, Father God, just like Ezekiel, we prophesy to our situation. We're not going to just go by what we see. We, Father God, we're going to respond to what you say. And so, Father God, even though the valley of dry bones was filled with dead bodies, Father, I thank you that you put your word oh God, in the, in the prophet's mouth and he prophesied to the breath, oh God. And so we do the same thing tonight. Father God, we prophesy over all of our situations, oh God. We prophesy over the nations. We prophesy over our marriages. We prophesy over our spouses. We prophesy over our sons and daughters. We prophesy over the body of Christ. We prophesy over our situations, our finances, our ministries, our jobs. Father God, the assignments you've given to us, perhaps it looked like we're stuck. It looked like there's no fruit. It looked like there's nothing happening. That the, the fig tree has no fig on it. It looks that way, Father God, but we don't go by our natural eyes because the just father will live by faith we walk by faith and not by sight and so we prophesy to the breadth of every situation that you have entrusted to us father god we prophesy to the breath oh god we prophesy right now lord and we speak to the breath we say come breath father god because we will no longer be suffocated by the python witchcraft spirit we will not be choked out we will not die prematurely our blessings will not be robbed father i thank you that the the thief has been caught and he must give us back seven times what he has stolen from us. And so we prophesy because death and life are in the power of our tongue. And we say, come breath, come from the four winds, breathe into the slain situation. And Father God, we decree and declare that our households will live for you. As for me and my house, we will serve the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Father God, we prophesy to our health. Father, we prophesy to our bodies right now, to our spirits, our souls. Father, and we say that we shall not die prematurely maturely but we live life and life more abundantly and Lord, we thank you for the breath of the holy spirit your ruah father god that whatever that was dead looking like it was dead father god stand up right now father as a vast army for you standing up our marriages our family father everything you've entrusted to us oh god we give it back to you and those things are serving you father god in the name of jesus bringing you glory our families are bringing you glory father god the children who have been slain with depression and oppression and perversion and pride, whatever wickedness, Father God, I thank you that you're saving them. We prophesy to the children and they're standing on their feet as a vast army for you, reading the word, obeying your word, fasting and praying, oh God. Lord, I thank you that you're delivering the children tonight, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, I prophesy to the husbands who don't want to read the Bible. Perhaps the enemy has, has placed strongholds in them, the wives, their strongholds in the children, strongholds, but we tear down the strongholds, the deceptions, we bind and cast them out father God in the name of Jesus and we release truth upon the husbands and the wives and the children the families father God I thank you oh God that the belt of truth is buckled around your DNA and they know the truth and they are set free oh God I thank you oh God that they're no longer falling down in sinfulness but I thank you that families are standing on the solid rock and his name is Jesus holding up oh God the shield of faith oh God holding up the sword of the spirit which is your word I thank you oh God that they the families are being saved tonight, oh God. The shackles are broken off of them. The prison doors are open up, oh God. They're set free in their, in their souls, in their minds, Father God. I thank you that you're doing a new thing in the mind. Behold, I do a new thing in your soul, in your spirit. Hallelujah, Lord. You open up the blinded eyes. We prophesy epithet to the blinded eyes. The deaf ears, the hard hearts are becoming soft. The, the scales are gone from the eyes, the ears are open up, oh God, and families are seeing you, hearing you, and believing in you, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We don't know how you save people, but Father God, you do it.
because it is not your will that anyone will perish, Father God. And so, Lord, I thank you that whatever dead thing that we've been entangled in, I thank you, Father God, that we're no longer in the grave. I thank you, oh God, that the graves have been opened, the, the stone is rolled away from the tomb, the stone is rolled away from the tomb, and we emerge, families emerge, Father God, into new life. The grave clothes are gone. Father God, remove the grave clothes off of our minds, oh God. Help us to think godly thoughts. God, help us to come into agreement with you. Help us to keep our minds on you, oh God, and you will keep us in perfect peace if our minds are stayed on you. And if we trust in you, Father God, remove the grave clothes from the minds of our children, oh God. Remove the grave clothes from the, the minds of the, the spouses, oh God, and give them the mind of Christ, oh God, the heart of Jesus. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I thank you for doing it now, oh God. I thank you for dipping our household in the water of your word, in the Jordan River of your word, washing away the spiritual leprosy, Father God, and making our families brand new, whole, oh God, saved, sanctified, oh God, consecrated, living only, Lord, sensitive to the Holy Spirit, obedient to you, walking in humility and the fear of the Lord. Lord, I thank you for doing it in the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for restoring the families, restoring the years the palmer worms ate up in the name of Jesus. I thank you, Father God, for making all things new. If any man be in Christ is a new creation, old things are passed away. Behold, all things are new. Father, I thank you that our families are no longer in the grave. Father, we're in the palace with you, Father. No longer in the pit, but we're in the palace, Father God. I thank you, Father God, that you're elevating and promoting us, oh God. I thank you, oh God, for opening up blessed doors for us, blessed opportunities for us, Father God. Father, all the dead things are gone, Father. You're not the God of the dead, but the God of the living. Living, Father, and so we, we we move away from the dead things, dead way of thinking, dead people, de just dead ideology, Father God, dead behavior, sinful behavior, Father God. We break free from that, and Father God, we pick up our cross and we follow you in the name of Jesus. And Father God, for those who've been crying out for their unsaved loved ones who seem like they were just dead and going to be buried. Father, I thank you that you're saving the, the household, Father God. Those who've been crying out. Father, I thank you that you said weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. And it's time to stop crying. And it's time to stop mourning. God has turned your mourning into dancing. It's time to celebrate. God has heard our prayers and he said, I've heard you from the first moment you prayed, but there was warfare. But Lord, I thank you for your angels who have been released to help us, oh God. And we're not crying anymore. We are rejoicing because we're seeing the husband. So we're leading the families. We're seeing the husbands loving, Father, loving their wives as, as Christ loves the church, oh God. I thank you that the husbands are loving their wives as Christ loves the church, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you that our children are filled up with the Holy Spirit and the they're prophesying, oh God. I thank you that they're being taught by you and great is their peace. I thank you, oh God, that the things that we've been praying for for years, we see the manifestation, oh God, that you're releasing the financial blessings, that the poverty, debt, lack, they're bound and cast out. I thank you for the wealth transfer that's taking place, Lord. I thank you for debt cancellation. I thank you, oh God, that there's no more lack. I thank you, Father God, that you're meeting the needs, oh God, because you are Yahweh Jireh, the God who see us and you will provide a ram in the bush, Lord. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I praise your holy name. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Father, we pray for the students that you open up their graves, oh God. We pray for the students and their families, oh God. We pray for our co-workers. We pray for our neighbors, oh God, that you reveal Christ to them, that you remove any curse off of their lives, any curse of their lives, oh God. Remove the curses off of their bloodline, Father God. Father, we bind and cast out the witchcraft. We bind and cast out into the brimstone abyss, oh God, any familiar spirit that that's been plaguing the families. We bind and cast them out, Father, every Jezebel, every Leviathan, every pride. We bind and cast them out, Father God. But I release the Holy Ghost. I release the fruit of the Spirit. I release humility. I release truth. I set the captives free, oh God, with the anointing, with the anointing, with the blood of Jesus, with your word, oh God. Hallelujah. Lord, I thank you. I thank you, Father God, that the dead things are gone, oh God. I thank you, oh God, for new life, new life. New life, 
new life. Oh God, I thank you, Father God, that we shall hear testimonies of those we've been praying for, that they're serving in your kingdom, preaching the gospel, Lord, living for you, oh God, sold out to you, fully committed in the name of Jesus. Lord, I thank you that you're getting ready to fill all of us with awe. And we're going to praise you like never before, Father God, because we're seeing that you raised the dead. You raised the dead, oh God. You raised Lazarus. You raised the little girl to lead the coom. And Father, you raised his son right here in Luke 7, Father God. I thank you, oh God, that you are doing a new thing, new thing, inside out, inside out. You have placed your spirit on the inside of us, oh God. Hallelujah. Out of our bellies, out of our hearts of flowing rivers of living waters, Father God. I thank you that we are revived. We are restored. We are renewed. We are resuscitated. Father God, we're on fire for you like never before. Your word is fire in our bones. Oh God, we are charged up, recharged, refueled to get up. Oh God, and to go forth again, to pray again, to hope again, to believe again, to study your word again, to fast again. Oh God, and, and, and to just have that, that, that expectancy, Father God. I thank you like Sarah, oh God. We have an appointment with you, oh God. And by this time next year, oh God, we're going to have brand new testimonies, oh God, that the barrenness is over. The barrenness, you took away the barrenness, oh God, and you gave us fruit, you gave us fruitfulness. You removed the barrenness, oh God, like you did with Sarah and with Hannah, oh God, and with Rebecca, oh God. I thank you that we birthed through, oh God, our blessings come through, Father God. We see the manifestation of your promises being fulfilled in the name of Jesus. And we want to say thank you in advance. Thank you in advance, Lord. Because we believe you when you said you reward those who believe you, Father God, and who diligently seek you. I thank you for the reward that's coming. I thank you, oh God. Hallelujah. The reward of seeing our children to serving you. Seeing our husbands serving you like never before. Seeing our parents, our relatives serving you. I thank you, oh God. I thank you for providing for everybody who stand in need of whatever they need. I thank you for doing the miraculous, for doing the impossible. Anything can happen. And we believe that it's already happened. It has already happened. It is finished. And Father God, we're seeing it now. We're seeing the answers through our prayers in the name of Jesus. And I cover this prayer with the blood. And I seal this prayer in all of us with the eternal seal of the Holy Ghost. And Father, I thank you for saving the lost. If anybody's listening to this and perhaps you don't know Jesus Christ is your personal Lord and Savior, all you got to do is say this prayer. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I know I am a sinner in need of a Savior. But I believe Jesus Christ, your son, died for my sins. And so right now. I turn from my sins and return to you, Lord. I confess with my mouth the Lord Jesus as my personal Lord and Savior. And I believe in my heart that you, Father God, raised him from the dead. So now I am saved. Thank you for saving me, Father God, through Jesus Christ. Amen. And that's all you got to do. Say that prayer. Start reading your word, reading the Bible, going to a Bible teaching church. And just being led by the Holy Spirit. And God will beautify your life with salvation. Amen. And I also release the benediction over us. Number 6, 24 to 26. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. And I release Jeremiah 29 and verse 11. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. And Lord, we thank you for this word. We thank you, Father God, for answering this prayer. We thank you, Father God, for the sweet sleep we're going to have tonight. We thank you, Father God, for the blessings that you're giving us that make us rich and you add no sorrow. We thank you for shalom, peace, wholeness, wellness, harmony, tranquility, prosperity, protection. We thank you, Lord. All this I pray. 
in the name of Jesus, I seal this prayer and all of us with the blood of Jesus. I seal this message with the blood of Jesus and with the eternal seal of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen.